Well, playing a time warp is, of course, a very special uh, thing because there's so many people, and um, also everything they do, they do with a lot of love. So they put a lot of effort in, in making everything good. The sound system is always fantastic. Um, lightning is fantastic. So uh, all the, the the structure you need is perfect, and, and so it's it's a great joy to play. Yes, but that's very, very long ago, in uh, school times. Um, but then I moved to jazz and funk and soul, and yeah, then it went on into electronic music. So. When I started playing, um, I was well. I was just interested in the music I heard, and that was hip-hop at that time, but it was just coming over from America. Nobody had heard that music before and um, there was some radio station from Switzerland that played this kind of music on Friday night and I could hear it and uh, so that's when I had my tape machine recording and, and it was really difficult to find these records in Europe at that time. Um, it got better. So I started buying records, and, and that's how everything began. In 2006 I was asked by uh, the famous German label K7 to do a DJ kicks for them, which was, yeah, which was definitely a big step uh, for me, because um, I felt just, I just had began to, to play internationally and did have done some remixes and, and everything was running well and, and so I thought it's maybe a little bit too big for me to do that but um, yeah but it ended up being a great thing and, um, and a very very special CD for me um, yeah, and, and also like kickstart into, into what happened afterwards. I did leave my alone brain. It's just it just came to my head in a way, um, and then I sat down and did it. And as always, um, when you when you find something strong, uh, which is very difficult, um, then you can. Yeah, it, it always happens within 15 minutes or something. You have an idea, you sit down, you try to capture it into music, and if it happens then, then all is good and you, you know that you, you have something strong and uh, yeah with this one I yeah somehow I had the feeling this was the first track I really could bring together everything that I was always searching for so like techno and jazz and hip hop and yeah electronic music whatever into one piece. as a movie soundtrack actually came from the people uh, around Time Warp 2. They have the festival called uh, Jetzt Music Festival in Mannheim, Germany, and they have asked us um, to yeah, do a live set uh, for the film. And, and so we thought, wow, that's maybe a good idea because we anyway um, were interested in, in doing a movie soundtrack and but we, we weren't sure if we could do it, so yeah, we sat down and, and really uh, thought about how we could approach the project and because we wanted it to have a strong concept behind and um, yeah, it worked. It was, it was a great project. Well, the collaboration with Ethnic Heritage Ensemble came up long ago um, how did it happen? Yeah, I actually was asked to do a remix for them, and um, and it was a great project because it all had this jazz that I liked, and it also had the African influence that I love, and 
and um, so I was pleased to hear that the label who, who um, released the remix, uh, Deep Soul Records, they asked me to meet the band in, in France to, to see what happens, maybe play a concert or something. And uh, yeah, so we ended up being in Bordeaux and um, it was fantastic because the, the musicians have been really open and at that time it was still very difficult to bring laptops and, and real musicians together, it was really difficult. But um, yeah, they were open-minded and so we we just went on stage like like these jazz guys normally do. They they meet, they say hello, um, blah blah blah, and then they go on stage and play. And this is what we did. Uh, but I had a laptop. Um, it was a special experience and it worked really well. I am one